Welcome to part two of our tutorial on installing actions in Photoshop Elements 7. Um, we ended the first part of the tutorial with installing actions in the effects area just as we have done in previous versions of Photoshop Elements. However, in Photoshop Elements 7 they have a new guided area with an action player and you can install actions in both places or one or the other. I really don't recommend installing them in both places because that's going to uh, bog down your computer when you open it up the more things that you have installed. And so if you scroll down on the tutorial here you'll see a new area for instructions on the guided action player and we're just going to go straight into Photoshop Elements and check this out. Um, here is the effects area with the two atomic cupcake um, actions that I installed in the previous tutorial and if you look up here there's a tab now that says guided. I'm going to click on that and when it comes up <coughs> We're going to scroll down to the bottom where it says Automated Actions. And I'm going to click on Action Player. And when it comes up in this first drop down menu, you can see I've installed a lot of Atomic Cupcake Actions. You'll notice that they are all just text, um, they're no longer images. Uh, that require those ping files and so this is going to make it a lot easier um, you'll just go through and choose your actions by by words. I'm going to click on one of these and you see in the sub drop down menu there is only one choice that's because I haven't gotten these actions into sets yet we cannot make them sets in Photoshop Elements we have to have uh, the people in the full version of the program do that for us and Wendy has done a set for me to test out of shadows and so under this sub menu you'll see there are four choices of shadows that I can uh, choose from. I'm going to choose the large one and then uh, in the full edit mode you want to make sure that you, you just simply click on oops full and make sure you're on the correct layer. I'm going to go ahead and, and close it out so it, it's not distracting. Make sure you're on the correct layer or anything else you have to do. You just go to the guided area and when it comes up and you have your action chosen you do play action and it's currently running and she has a little reminder here if you want to run the action a second time and you can see now that there's been a drop shadow added to this acrylic which is a little more difficult to add acrylic shadows if you click on the full uh, editing mode again you can see that two new um, layers have been added by the action and it worked perfectly fine. If I take the shadow on and off there you can see how that particular action worked. And so if we go back into the tutorial it says to just put the action files directly in to the folder and I actually have that folder here already and you can see all of those actions no PNG files are necessary you just drop them right into this folder <coughs> and then restart Photoshop Elements and they are right there in your guided area it's as easy as that it's much easier um, and the folder is uh, really easy to find too and I have that right here in here in this and if you want to just I'm using Vista highlight it copy it go to Windows computer right click paste Let me make this window smaller and hit that arrow 
you're right there at the folder where you can drop these in. Now I recommend that you keep your originals somewhere else and then um, copy the actions into these files. That way you have your originals backed up somewhere um, so you can utilize them for the next version of Photoshop Elements that comes out. And that's about all there is to uh, the new guided area. Pretty easy um, and I like it. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions please ask in the form. We're going to go on to the next section which is XML files in uh, part three of this tutorial.